So let's begin with our Python course. Okay, so tonight we'll be focusing upon entirely about Python, like what Python is, what its advantages, actually why we're learning it. Because we were starting before starting with the programming. This nation understand what exactly we are about to learn. Why should we learn Python? How did it come to existence? Okay, why are the people using it right now? What makes it so let's say popular among other languages? So. Firstly, Python was a language was created in the year 1991 by Gordon Monroe. Okay, so this is the person who had in, uh, developed the language Python in the year 1991. Okay, so uh, a quick fact that Python is not a very old language. Okay, although it seems that it it was built around uh, 31 years ago, but it is much younger as compared to languages like C, C, Plus Plus, and Java. Okay, and Fortran. So these are the languages that came into existence before Python. And Python is actually built on C C plus plus. Okay, so both of them some use C C plus plus to build Python language. So, firstly, why did he do that? Why did he want to to create a language Python when they were very already using C plus plus in C and Java? Then why was there a need to create a language called Python? The reason was that because uh, those who might have let's say coded in C C plus plus, they all Java. They know that for even adding a simple code in these languages, you have to write multiple lines, right? Even if you write simple, uh, you know, program to print hello world on the output screen, you have to import uh, let's say multiple packages and let's say the code itself becomes seven to eight lines. So just to carry out a simple task, okay, you have to write seven to eight lines of code. And that is a lot of let's say, and it's not quite readable. For example, let's say if a non-developer, let's say a simple human, not a simple human, let's say a person who doesn't have any, uh, let's say, technical background, or let's say who doesn't know coding, if he looks at the code, he won't be able to understand a bit what exactly the code is doing, or let's say be able to interpret or guess what exactly will be the output. So Gudemon also had in his mind that he wanted to build a language that was so simple and so readable to understand. That everyone can do coding. Why Python? We have other languages as well, and if you see that uh, Python is not as uh, let's say trending as it was used to be. Now we also have GoLang, or let's say we have uh, C Sharp taking its place. Okay, but why still Python? Why should we use it? It is because Python is used in many fields. Okay, if you look at certain languages, like let's say for take an example R. R is a, another programming language that is mostly used in the field of data science and machine learning, but it is only restricted to that. We don't see R language used in any other fields. Then let's say if we take example of C sharp, then C sharp is take uh, let's say many companies use C sharp for uh, you know building softwares. Okay, but still C sharp has its own limitations. At some point, C sharp also is not that much feasible. Yes, Python is easy to use exactly. But Python, as its case, Python can be used in multiple fields. You can talk about, uh, you know, software development. You can talk about, let's say, system uh, applications. You can talk about scripting. You can talk about web development, so AI, ML, data science. Now, all these fields, Python can be used very easily. So, the what advantage it gives a particular developer or let's say company is that a company can, let's say, uh, every every IT or service company, they work in different sectors, right? So if they pick a certain language that can be used in many fields, so they don't have to go and look out for different developers. Then second is it's easy to understand. So let's say beginners can really pick it up very easily as compared to other languages. 